Hello, my name is Maria Stamatopoulou. I'm a classical archaeologist and I'm the school liaisons officer at the classics faculty. For the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to be looking at personal statements. You often ask us about personal statements, why they're important, what we're looking for in a personal statement. So we're going to explore this subject a bit further. Why is a personal statement important? Well, it's part of the application package. We look at it in a contextual manner with other aspects of your application. For you, I think preparing your personal statements allow you to check whether what you're applying to study at university is indeed what you're interested in. Because while you're trying to write and explain what you've been taught or what you've read and has inspired you to study a given topic, in our case classics, could it be Literary Humani Orders or Classics and Modern Languages or Classics in English or Ancient Modern History or Classical Archaeology and Ancient History, you carefully think of the reasoning behind your choice and you have to present it to someone who doesn't know you. So you can check whether you are indeed committed to the subject you want to study. Let's say you apply to study for Ancient Modern History and then while you're writing, you realize that all your examples are from ancient history and you're not as interested in modern history. Should this joint degree be what you're applying for or something else? So in a way, it allows you to discover if you truly like the subject, if you're really committed to it. It also allows you to present yourself to us, to in a way sell yourself. You are giving us your reasons, your course, your way into choosing the ancient subject, what motivated you, what interests you, how committed you are. And you can pres present yourself, but also your achievements in a way you can sell yourself. The personal statements is where, not where you should be too modest, but nor should be a place where you, you know, show off too much. Just Write what it is that interests you, but also your achievements and how these achievements, no matter how small they, you may think they are, have really consolidated your interest in the ancient world and the degree you're interested in. So essentially, the personal statement presents you and your commitment to the subject you want to pursue. How do you use it? As I said earlier, Personal statements are one of the elements of your applications and we use all the elements, your personal statement, your grades, your references, your written work, tests, if these are applicable, and finally the interview together to judge whether you, know, you should come to study classics at Oxford where this degree is for you. So your personal statement will be assessed for short living you through, list, sorry, I lost my English, for shortlisting you for an interview. If, for example, in your personal statement, you don't explain why you like this source, this course, classics, or let's say classical archaeology and some history, but you write only about what you've done in geography or in religious studies or in drama, but there's nothing about the ancient world, we might question your commitment to this degree. So we are using it to invite you for an interview and also to, also to offer you a place later on. In the interview, while you're at Oxford and we're discussing, we very often use points or references you made in your personal statement to start a discussion or because we're interested in what you have written or sometimes plex and we want to discover further what you have written about or to ask you about it. So it does provide content for discussion uh, during the interview and what you write, we keep notes, we take it very, very seriously. Since we know you're not only applying to Oxford, but to other universities, look carefully at the selection criteria for the given subject in the universities you're interested in. So how should you structure your personal statement? It's not very long. You don't have a lot of space. So you have to be very selective. And the key aspect for us is to know why you want to study this course, what made you interested, what you've done to explore aspects of the course you want to study. So most of it should be academic. What you've done at school, 
or it doesn't matter if you haven't done specific topics about the ancient world, not all schools offer either classical civilization or aspects of theory. What is it that you studied at school that has helped you in your choices and also what you've done outside school that is relevant and in a way complements your studies and your interest in the ancient world. Then a small part should be given to your extracurricular activities you are not going to be given off place, give, offered a place at Oxford because of them or despite them. You are going to be offered a place based on your academic commitment and your work and your written work and your grades. So write them. Some universities take them, look at them more perhaps than we do, but make them relevant. So don't spend more than half of your personal statement writing to us how much you like music or film or plays, or sports, or origami, or whatever it is that you might be liking. So what we want to know, as I said, is why you want to study this course. Which part of the ancient world interests you? Why? How you found it rewarding? What have you done that has inspired you? And of course, inspiration can come in many ways. You may have had options at school and that are relevant and that have prompted your interest or you may have done English and you like drama and you want to see ancient drama. You may have gone to a play or a school production or an outreach activity or a museum visit or a holiday with your parents and or comics. You write asterisks and you got interested in the ancient world. It doesn't matter what it is that interests you. What we want to know is why and how you have fed this interest after you notice that this is something you would like to do. So we want to know what it is you've read, what it is you've watched, what it is you've listened, and how and why this was interesting. So how do these complement the course you're applying to study at the university? And also about your extracurricular activities, you know, how are these relevant perhaps? How have they, you know, prepared you better for study at university? And we're not going to be judged on whether, for example, you have done fieldwork or not, you've done a museum or not, because not everyone has the same ability choices while they're studying or, you know, it's not always easy to do certain things. But there are things available you could do. So we would like to know how have you fed your interest in the ancient world, in classics, and how have you developed your readings and your experience relevant to the subject? The important thing to do while you're preparing your personal statement is be yourself. We want to hear you, your language, be focused, make it academic, make it, write it in a way you would be explaining your interest in your degree subject to your friends, to your family, to your teachers. Don't write too much. Don't make it into a list of achievements or a list of things you've read. Make each paragraph be devoted about a specific interest. Let's say you have read an ancient author and you found this very rewarding and you would like to do literature, or you've done an internship in the museum, or you visited the site, and there's something about it that really prompted your interest and you would like to develop it further. So analyze this a bit more, make it coherent. Don't make it into a list. And then once you finish it, read it through, check your spelling, check your grammar, check your punctuation. We would like to see a well-written, coherent personal statement. Keep a copy because you will need to refer to it in the future. But the key thing is don't write in a language you wouldn't use. Be yourself. We want to see you, not someone else's personal statement. And it doesn't matter, as I said, what prompted your interest, just put, or what you read, it doesn't have to be huge amounts, not everyone has the chances to do that, or just tell us what things you've seen, what documentaries you've heard, you know, what is it that makes you interest. It's very, very important to write what you've done, not what you would hope to do. 
Don't say that you've read books that you have planned to read in the summer or later on because you may not have the chance to do it. And then you might be asked at the interview and it might be embarrassing. So don't lie about the things you've read or the extent you've read something. And don't plagiarize. Don't copy someone else's application because, first of all, there are software or project programs that can see it. And then secondly, of course, we may be very unlikely and we might have seen. We want your application. That's the most important and more exciting things for us to see you. So... Don't use the cliche things because you think we want to see them. There is nothing specific we are looking at that application except for interest, commitment, someone who can write English and who is interested in the topic. So avoid very flowery language. Avoid too many quotes. They don't necessarily help your application. And don't try things which are completely relevant fit in. Focus, keep to a few examples, make it about the subject you are studying. And how should you prepare? Of course, we are interested in your personal statement, but we also want to see your academic ability. So work hard. Getting good grades is one of the key things that would allow you to enter university of your choice to study what you want. So work hard. It is essential. And then while you're working for your module, your subject you do at school, think and explore the aspects of the ancient world that interest you. Classics is a huge field, interdisciplinary, that caters for very many different personalities and interests. So what could it be? Is it languages and language learning? Is it poetry? Is it literature? Is it linguistics? Is it all of them? Is it history? Is it archaeology? Is it both? Is it reception? So theatre studies, what could it be? Because, you know, you might have and the equal interest in all aspects of the ancient world, you might be more focused. So think, well, what it is you might want to focus on at university if you want to focus on something specific. And engage then with your subject. Try to be proactive in learning more. And learning more about the things that interest you. You don't have to create an encyclopedic knowledge about everything uh, relevant to classics. What do you want? It could be, you know, water supply. It could be theatre production. It could be, you know, history and heraldics. It doesn't matter what it is. It has to be something you're interested in. And how would you get it? Well, today, things are not very open at the moment, but you could have a subscription to your local library and borrow books or e-books. Check things on the internet. There are many podcasts. There are blogs. Your school, your teachers, and even us. If you want anything, advice or, you know, suggestions, you can email myself or my colleagues at Outreach. And here's a list of email addresses. You can check our website. There are a number of resources and suggestions there. You can email the colleges where you're thinking of applying if you're applying to Oxford for undergraduate study. And of course, you can follow what you're doing in social media. There are many resources for you, so explore them. Engage with the subject you want to study. Become better informed because the better informed you are, your choice, you know, the better your choice will be later on. In anything you do, good luck. You know, I wish you the best in your studies and for this summer. And I do hope we will have the chance to see you soon in the future. Bye for me.